<coughs> Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do Chapter Zero Nine Secret Message. So this program is uh, e how uh show you how to search through an array to locate a a desired item, and we're going to write a uh, and code and decode secret message, and we're going to use a simple substitution uh, cipher okay so this is what we try to do so first this is your code.dat and this is the there are 94 of these there are 94 characters you create by this uh, author and you can do yours and so for this 94 I have to come here at the here and I open the folder explorer and I need to add the code.dat inside this. Okay, so first I need to add the code.dat inside that. All right, so that's our substitute. That's our substitute. And let's see what is the system for we to substitute. The way, the way we substitute is this. We are going to create a code. Make, we are going to use uh, a system. Is we using the ASCII code, ASCII code of the original character, minus thirty two. All right. The reason is this. So let me explain to you how we do it. Okay. So let's take a look at the ASCII code. We are going to do ASCII code. 32 to 127 basic one thirty two to 127 so if you want to create any uh, you know code it has to be original code say you know attack an enemy in front something like that that has to be inside 32 to 127 all right, so there are 94 of these because 127 uh, minus 32. So we have 94, 94 characters. And these 94 characters will be substituted by these 94. That's our code, will be substituted by 94. How does it work? How does this work? Work by this way. First, depend on what letter you write, okay? You say, I like C++, okay, for example, you say, I like C++, okay, that's the original code, we're going to, uh, we're going to, you know, uh, encode it to a secret code, so I, you want to look for I here, I is 73, okay, so ASCII code is 73, but you're going to match to this here, to this secret code, because they start from zero. So your 73 need to minus 32, okay? Uh, that's 41. So coming from here, D41 number, D41 number will be this. So that's how we match. That's how we match. All right? So since we know how to, how to match right now, we are uh, going to start to write our program right now, okay? And we're going to start. And uh, I will start to write this program. Just make it as fun as possible, and you can get this program, understand it. Then I'll break. I'll put in class. So I know I need ASCII. All right. So I I know I need ASCII. Uh, I know I need size. Okay. So I'm going to take this part right here. All right, so this part I need, I know I need ASCII, and I know my size 94. Uh, I also know I need, need a new character. I need a character array called code char. Now I'm going to temporary, temporary uh, uh, write a, the, the word say, I can write a secret message, and the new string is blank, okay? So first of all, for this program, I have to 
use the input file so I have include file string. As soon as I have that, then I have to do this right now. I have um, create this. So I say um, my uh, input file string, I'm going to call in file. Okay. Then uh, well, I want to open my code.dat. Then right now I'm going to uh, read the code, secret code right here, this secret code into my code uh, chart right now. Okay. So at this moment, if you want to print it out, you can uh, see out, uh, you know, uh, code uh, char and I. Okay, and space, something like that. Okay, we can do like that right now. And if you build it, All right, so the code is inside right now. All right, so you already know the code inside. We don't need to write it out. All right, so as soon as the code is inside right now. All right, so I am going to read my word. This is my word, my word, and I'm going to read it. Is that right? So I'm going to have a for loop. I have a for loop and to read it. So I'm going to take this. All right, so I'm going to have four loop right here. So I'm going to zero and to my word dot length. So that be length here. All right, and so the ASCII is uh is a integer. So the word I is a is a character, and if you assign to ASCII. It will get the ASCII number, actually, actually get ASCII number, and the ASCII number right here, ASCII number right here. You want to minus thirty two. Remember, we start from thirty two, so minus thirty two, and that's your new character. We do each character one character by character. Then, uh, we're going to concat into our string. As soon as we concat our string. Right here. <coughs> then we are going to we going to close our in file. Then we going to write the original code, original code, and that will be I can write a secret message, and we're going to uh convert it, uh use that uh code char uh and to convert it. Let's run it right now. So build it. And start without debugging. All right. So original, I can write the secret code, and the secret code is this. All right. So we're going to do more of this right now. The thing is, we are uh going to uh make these to become um. You know, we're going to make from the. From the secret code, we have to go back to original code. Original code. So we are going to do this, okay? So we're going to say, so this is what I I I am able to do this. I can write a secret message, and I can encode it. I'm going to go back, decode it back. All right. So in order to do that, I need to do a little bit more thing right here. So. I need to have a right here. I need to have a char, next char. I need to do that. Then I also uh, need to have a um, original word, original character, something like that. Okay. So I'm going to say string origin i o i original word. Let me type. Make sure I type correctly. O R I G I G I N. All right, fine. That's fine right now. And let's make it to be blank first. It's okay. 
Then I also need a uh, original character. Okay. All right. I also need that. Now, uh, I also need the index. So here, here, what we're going to do is this right now. Um, I am um going to um use a uh function to do this. Okay, use a function called find it to do this. And this find it function uh will be like like here. Let me do right here. So I'm going to write uh they will return an index integer find uh it and we are going to uh find it we are going to uh look for a jar okay and that from from our char uh code remember we have char uh code char sorry uh uh code char but i'm going to say uh code char a i'm going to call that okay that's my array and integer size and uh char value okay i'm going to do like that way all right so uh let me see uh oh hold on i need to have a character right here okay and not type correctly all right so i need to have that then once i have that then i am going to uh create uh here okay so here i am going to write this right now okay I'm going to write this. So first of all, I am going to have an index zero position negative one, uh, found equal false. I'm going to do a traditional uh, searching. All right here. So when I search here, so I do uh, while my uh, index so i do while hold on just a minute so while my index is less than my size okay and not found still not found and so uh and my um I find out that number. I find a number in my because I need to find out the index number. All right. So as soon as I find out that index number, because once I find out that number, if I find out this number from here, all right. So that's forty-one. To get that ASCII number for i, I need to plus thirty-two. Remember, I was subtract thirty-two. Now I need to plus thirty-two. So most important is I need to use a. This one is linear search. I did a linear search, and to find this number, all right. So if that value inside here found equal two, that index equal position. Otherwise, I continue. I at the end I need to return my position. So this is a linear search, and it's a very important linear search here. Then once we are able to search that, once we are able to search that, then we are continue to do this for loop. So when I do this for loop, I do integer i equal zero, i equal to now. Remember, it, we are going to search from your new string. Okay, the new string. Okay, and the length. I'm going to search from there, from there. Okay. Once we search from there, and we're going to get the next character, so first character anyway. Next char. Next char. Where's that? Okay, next char, and equal to new string. New string, and one by one. Okay, so that will be each one i. Now in that i, that whatever this, so new string the i the here. Is I I I okay? Now the new string here is not I. Is that 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 weird thing? Is whatever that X whatever? 
So that that first element, but we're going to make that x become i. Okay. So in order to make that x become i, I need to find out the index. So I'm going to say this. Okay. So I have index here. Do I have index here? Oh, I need to have index here too. Oh, yeah, I did. All right. So my index. So equal to find it. Find it. Is that right? And I'm going to find in code char. I'm going to pass this array, and pass the size and the size. Ah, uh, here. All right. Then I'm uh, going to pass the next char. I uh, remember. It's ninety four of these. Okay, so you have to give the uh, size to ninety four, which I gave here, right here already. All right. So we are going to search it. We're going to search that that next chart inside here. Find it, and inside is ninety four of them.、Uh, if you find it, if you find it, this our、uh, original、um, chart and has to do index. Plus thirty-two. All right, plus thirty-two. Then, ah,、uh, then original war. Original war and plus equal ah、uh, original char. Original char. All right. Now, so now we are going to do this right now. So first, the original code is this. Okay, the secret code is here. All right, so let's have this right now. Control C, Control V. The original code is okay. Um, I'm going to say this. Uh, after uh decode. Okay, after decode, and it's not word anymore. We're going to say original word. Original word. Okay. All right. So let's do it right now. So we have a、uh, we are able to make this whatever the code you do, and based on this, based on this uh uh secret system, make the new string, then make the new string go back to this. Okay. Remember you you know if you give this to You're uh somebody three hundred miles away. The three hundred miles away need to use this to change back. Nobody can read that. Blah blah blah. Is that right? So let's build it and start without debugging. So here, right here, say I can write a secret message. Uh, we use this and based on that. And change to this thing, and once you so this thing you send it through the telegram, okay. After they receive this thing, they have to use this this algorithm to change. Oh, they say I can write a secret message. All right. So this is a a very very simple uh uh encode. And encode and decode, uh, program. I hope you like it, and I am going to change it to a class. I I hope you like this video.